All right, everybody. I'm super excited for this one. I picked up a 97 Mustang. That's gonna be the new track car. Uh, it's of high quality. Let me tell you what. Here it is. Blown head gasket V6, five speed. It's a piece. Full painted interior, by the way. That's lovely. I've already started tearing the trunk apart, trying to do some weight reduction on this beauty. Not going to make it to this first autocross event, but hopefully we'll make it to the second one. And hopefully I'll be rally crossing it also. Alright, I'm going to get this thing moved up a little bit closer to the garage so I can start tearing this thing apart. And, uh, you know, getting into it. i got to move a couple trucks and uh, should be good to go. Don't worry about this thing or that. Or that or this I haven't done this one <laughs> still waiting on pedals got to do the floor and the trans kit is still not in it's like gonna be the end of this month as far as the Bronco goes uh, lockers in it new clutches in it uh, replace the rear yoke because I snapped that in half about a month ago two months ago let's see what else everything else is tight I've checked everything it's pretty much where I want it to be I might want to do a rear locker, but uh, I'm not even worried about that for right now. Anyways, enough talking. Let me get some stuff moved around. Now that I got the fleet moved around, and this bad girl right here. Like I said, I got most of the trunk ripped apart. Just junk sitting at the bottom. Uh, a few more things that I want to take out. Uh, what I'm going to do is take the deck lid off and just cut a bunch of the supports out hopefully lighten this thing up probably a bunch of the back area because this thing is this thing's pretty heavy actually next what i want to do i know it's fiberglass hood but just drill a bunch of holes through the fiberglass and all these supports and stuff because i don't need it and i'll probably take out the latch mechanism put some hood pins in it make it real real redneck I'm going to eventually strip the entire interior, probably leave the dash in for now. Definitely going to cut some of the doors out. I'm going to leave the windows in it for now because like I said, it's going to stay outside and I'm going to try to at least keep it electrically not get wet. I don't really care about, you know, all the bare metal stuff. And eventually I'm going to start prepping it for a cage because we're going to be really stupid in this car. So I want to be safe. Definitely race seats because these things are awful. Okay. One reason why I'm really excited about this car is because I want to turbo it. I've never done a turbo, and I have no idea really how all that tuning stuff goes, but I have, I have the basics down of, of how the turbo setup works and everything. So I figure, why mess up a good car and waste a lot of money when I can spend time on a really crappy car and then buy the cheapest eBay turbo kit I can? <laughs> That seems like the only logical way to learn. So yeah, that's one reason why I'm actually really excited about this car. Uh, I think it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to find some tires. I already found a couple at a, uh, the tire shop that I go to all the time. Uh, we There's a bunch of people who autocross and race around here, so tires are pretty easy to find out here. I'm not gonna put nothing expensive on this piece of shit. This is probably gonna hurt some people's feelings. Not the prettiest Mustang, so I don't mind tearing it apart and making it into a race car. So it definitely isn't gonna be fast. Uh, it's not gonna be pretty. Def that's, that's probably at the top. Not pretty, not fast, but hopefully a whole lot of fun. That's that's my main goal is a whole lot of fun packed into a, a $500 car. Yeah, I think I think we could do this. I think we could do this. And if I can get some of my friends to come over, you know, help me out. Maybe get some free parts, you know, just saying. But, uh, for real, I'm super excited about this. Let me get the trunk off and start cutting it. Ah, oh, don't record me yet. Haven't cut anything yet. Here's the deck lid in all its original glory. Um, I don't know exactly how much these things weigh, but it's got to be like 35 pounds. I mean, that thing's pretty heavy for just, I mean... You can fit a small child on that, and it's like 35 pounds. Anyway, we're gonna f we're gonna fix that problem right now.
Okay, so real quick before the sun goes all the way down, kind of crudely cut the center out. Uh, it's a little floppy, but it doesn't really matter. Eventually, I'm going to take all these mechanisms out and all the lights and wiring, but for right now, just to keep everything electrically working, I'm going to leave them in and uh, rock it like this. I guarantee you this right here is probably two, three, four pounds, maybe. Um, but anyway, this should be a decent amount of weight taken out of it. Well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like, I don't need to hook up the wiring harness for the, for the trunk. So I shut it. And uh, the key doesn't match. So I gotta climb through the back and plug in that wire. This'll be fun. Oh, oh and of course, oh, there we go. Oh, you come, you come here. Oh, and of course the seat doesn't fold forward. That's awesome. There we go. Four seater car, my ass. Oh, here we go. We're in the cave now. There you are, little buddy. Let me plug you right back in. See you guys in a second. There you are. Oh, oh man. Yeah, it's just a little floppy now. That doesn't really matter. I, you know, I did some preventative rust prevention. I don't know. That's that's a double. That's a doubling up of that word. I don't like that. Man, that thing's heavy. All right, so I got the hood off now. About to cut that thing up. Lose a uh, weight. Meow. Meow. So this is what the hood looks like. I just kind of took the whole saw and just started cheesing it up. <laughs> oh, that's a beer in your hand. Oh, that's a beer in your hand. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm not counting all those holes. Bunch of them. Couple in the front. Yeah. Anyway, it's dark now, so I'm probably done for the day on the Mustang. Gonna work on this. Okay, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, just wanted to kind of get a video up there. Not much that I did. I'm going to go ahead and knock out the head gasket on it, get it all running good, and then we're going to get a baseline test of... My plans are to do a drag race with it to see what it does in the 8th mile. Well, that's the track that we have up here. And I want to do an, one autocross with it, and then probably a rally cross with it, just to see a baseline, and then maybe a 0-60 to 60 time. Just to see how slow this thing is right off the bat stock. Uh, I mean, it'll have some weight taken out of it, so it might be a little not the best comparison. But before we put any power additives or any performance mods or anything, rear end, you know. So every time I do something, we're going we're gonna to go out and test it again and see what it does, see what it does better, maybe worse. And uh, we're going to have fun. And hopefully I get all my buddies and stuff to destroy it with me. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a fun one. I think uh, I'm pretty excited for it. Don't mind this one. This one's not done. This one's got a while to go. Just got my other truck, the head gasket. I, I got a lot of head gaskets I've done lately. That one's done. Didn't care to make a video for that one because it's not important and it's boring. For now, it's boring. Anyways, guys and gals, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos of how to build a cheap race car. Well, <laughs> it's going to start out cheap. Everything I want to do is cheap. But anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like. See you guys.